Residential Market Analysis and Highest and Best Use, Chapter 3, Using the Market Analysis, Page 2, Market Segments. <clears throat> Markets will generally fall into the following categories. Residential properties, commercial properties, industrial properties, agricultural properties, investment properties, which could include any of the above, special purpose properties. These categories of properties can be further subdivided. Residential properties, single family, one story, two story, townhouse, manufactured home, condominium, cooperative, timeshare, multifamily, two to four units, commercial properties, Office, single story, low rise, high rise, warehousing space, industrial, manufacturing, warehousing, distribution centers, agricultural properties, farms, livestock, dairy cows, beef cattle, pigs, chickens, farms, crops, growing corn, growing wheat, growing soybeans, land, for any of the above agricultural uses, for mineral rights, coal, oil, natural grass, gas, gravel, special purpose properties, house of worship, hospitals, assisted living centers, hotels and motels, shopping centers, casinos, golf courses, sports complexes and stadiums, cemeteries. If the appraiser is assigned the task of determining the market value of a single family property for the purpose of obtaining a long-term mortgage, the residential, single-family, one-story categories will have to be further segmented for appropriate analysis of that market. Data will be gathered from the market to analyze those properties most similar to the subject relative to gross living area, GLA, number of bedrooms, number of baths, number of car storage spaces, basement, crawl space, concrete slab, post and pier, pool, in-ground, deck, patio, exterior siding, brick, vinyl, wood, site size, and others. As you can see, the appraiser's judgment will determine segmentation of the available market data for the beneficial analysis process. End of page. Page 3 of Chapter 3, Segmentation of the Market. Market segmentation separates categories, separates and categorizes the sub-markets from the larger marketplace. As a part of the clarification process, the appraiser will examine the strengths and weaknesses of the public social attitudes, desires, or needs for locating within the particular market area. What is the typical buyer's income level that can be used to satisfy their housing demands? Are open recreational areas desired for children? Are there other recreational facilities available within the market area for the family? What appears to be the standard size for homes in the subject's market area? What does the standard appear to be for homeowners in the subject's market area? Does a three-car garage indicate the standard of acceptance for the neighborhood? Are covered decks the norm for this particular market area? Clarification of the market will involve more than identifying the property. How many buyers are there for this type of property that is complete with all of the desired amenities? Where are the buyers coming from? The appraiser will have to reach a conclusion relative to the demand for this type of housing. If the individual 
property is one classified as a high value property. The appraiser will identify the limited market for this type of property on the basis of the disposable income available availability within the defined market area. How many buyers can afford to purchase this type of property in this location? There are several internet sites that will identify the percentage of people in the community who can af could afford to buy a, a high value property. The appraiser will look further to identify the market trends for this type of property relative to the buying public's disposable income levels, exposure time, absorption rates, expiration ratios, normal ratios between the offered price for similar properties and the actual selling price for properties. All are all considerations in the segmented analysis of the market. Market area. We have already discussed the factors of value that were utility, scarcity, desire, and effective purchasing power. All of these interdependent factors affect both the supply and demand for a property, which impacts the value. Using the previous example of the high volume value home the appraiser must analyze the market area to ensure there is a demand for this type of housing is the market going to support the high value attached to the property will the cost to build this home effectively translate into the high value price tag the available supply of high value homes in the marketplace will also determine the perceived value for the subject property it is conceivable that the oversupply of high value homes in a particular market area will cause the values of those homes to decline without any increase in their demand for them from the market. This decline is in high value home values could occur without a corresponding decline in the values of more modestly priced homes located in the same geographic area. Example of analyzing community demographic information you got information you got medium income slash household in community one 64,870 in community two 71,980 in community three 56,450 uh and then you have median family income you got community one 76,000 community two 94,000 community three 66,000 then you have per capita income, community one, 27,000, community two, 42, along the way you can see that. And it goes down the line, available labor force, available skilled labor force, and unemployment rates. From this data, the appraiser can identify that community two would be better suited for residential homes of higher value due to the higher medium income figures of the households and families. However, because the unemployment rate is higher in community number two, the demand for higher price housing may not be as great as would be expected by examining the income levels of this community. The appraiser will need to accomplish additional research to determine demand for the higher price residential housing. Additional research will also be required to determine the available supply of housing in the higher price range. Class discussion exercise. What else may be concluded from the demographic data assembled for these communities? What additional data would you assemble for a feasibility study of a proposed new housing project in one of the communities? Can you conclude that custom built housing or better than average tract homes should be constructed in one of these communities? Another one of the value characteristics to be examined by the appraiser is the utility of the high value property. Most of the custom constructed high value properties are built to exacting specifications for their owners. How many other buyers desire the same exact exacting utility in a property? The original high value property owner's needs and desires may not match the needs and desires of the typical buyer for that type of property. Even if the supply of high value properties is limited, 
they may not meet the qualifications for proper utility. In that case, the value of the property will be affected due to the lower offer to purchase from the prospective buyer. On the other hand, if the properties meet or exceed the buyer's needs and desires, value for the properties is enhanced or maximized. Market segmentation separates and categorizes the sub-markets from the larger marketplace. As we have shown, the market reacts to demand in the immediate time period. Demand is fickle, though, because it is influenced significantly by the property utility and the available housing inventory. The number of potential buyers in the marketplace is not as important as the number of acceptable and qualified buyers in the market for this type of property. Almost any dis distinguishing property characteristic can identify the content of the required analysis for the assignment. It is the appraiser's job to limit the focus of the analysis to the data required to produce a credible assignment result which reflects the market trends as of a specific date. The appraiser has examined the market area for those attributes of demand, supply, and utility. As part of the analysis of the market area, the appraiser's attention must look at the utility of the property and match that to the transferability for the utility relating to the property. In other words, can the buyer do what he or she wants to do with the property? What are the restrictions on this use of this property in the market area? The appraiser must research and analyze any restriction on the present or future use of the property. Suggested solutions. What else may be concluded from the demographic data assembled for these communities? Communities 1 and 3 are not as likely to support the construction of higher priced housing, even though the unemployment rates are lower than Community 2. What additional data would you assemble for a feasibility study of a proposed new housing project in one of the communities? A study of the current supply of available housing. A survey of the demand for new housing based upon current market trends. Analysis of the current industrial base for the prospects of expansion and increased employment opportunities. Community attitudes toward new housing developments versus present infrastructure capability. Can you conclude that custom-built housing or better-than-average track homes should be constructed in one of these communities? Answer, no. Additional information needed, needs to be supplied before any development commences in the in the the any of the communities in the page.